you know, it, it was all night. It wasn't the end of the game that cost us. Um, you know, we didn't come out and play the game purposefully. Um, you know, we've gotten to this habit, and it's you know, my responsibility to be better of allowing people, you know, to just play freely to start games and then think that we're going to turn it on in the second half. Um, that's arrogant basketball. And, you know, you can't survive in the NBA playing that way. Um, teams are too good. Guys are too good. You know, and if we want to be a good basketball team, you know, we need to remember who we are. And we need to play Cavaliers basketball, not, you know, hero ball, not my turn, not, you know, selfish defensively, not not executing game plans, um, you know, not paying attention to individual players' tendencies. Um, if we don't do those things, you know, we'll have nights like this and, you know, give the Kings credit, right? They play extremely hard. Um, you know, they're coming back off a long road trip. You know, there's all those things, uh, but they gave it to us and they competed. They played the game the right way. Um, they got stops when it mattered. Uh, so give them credit. I mean, it, it was, you know, not keeping the ball in front of us, you know, allowing the ball to get to where it wanted to go, um, you know, allowing guys to get to their strengths and play their tendencies. You know, we were, you know, we were a disappointing basketball team tonight, and there's no other way around it, um, you know, and we need to be all need to be held accountable for it. Uh, I mean, you know, he obviously had a rough night. Um, you know, I thought he tried to figure some things out, but, um, you know, we all know what Darius is capable of. Building on that, what would you tell Darius after a game like this where nothing was going to uh, I mean, you, you figure out, you know, when things aren't going your way, still how to be impactful. Um, you know, how you lead in these moments, you know, how you help your teammates. Uh, you know, what you do defensively to try to get stops and create some energy, um, you know, and that's how you impact the game. There's going to be nights where shots don't fall, right? But con continuing to figure out how do I impact the game and help my teammates, um, you know, that's what I would tell I'm sure you want to balance that. And then Utah, you know, he had times when in college he was a guy who was known as a defender. And then Utah profile changed a little bit. You know, what's the he, he, no, he's been good for us defensively over the course of the year. Um, you know, and it, it is a lot. Um, you know I mean? Like, it is a heavy burden, um, you know, to be the lead guy offensively and then have to go out and guard. Um, but, you know, I think for us he's been pretty consistent in that. Um you know, but the way our team is built and what our system is and what has made us good defensively in the moments is that, you know, it's five guys defending. Like, we don't ever put anybody on an island. Um, the rules are set up for the offense, right? If you do that, these guys are too good. They'll get what they want on anybody. Um, so tonight, uh, you know, our defense, you know, we let each other down. And you know, we have not done that, but tonight we did for sure. It's all right. What did you see from Darius tonight that led to his struggles? Um, you know, I, I just think, you know, obviously shots weren't going for him. Um, you know, I think he was battling to try to figure it out. And, you know, I don't think he, you know, he didn't stop. You know what I mean? Like he found his eight assists. He found ways to make his teammates better. Um, you know, I think the shots just didn't go. Obviously. Uh, I mean, it's, again, he's a hell of a basketball player. Um, and, you know, guys believe in him, um, you know, 
to the fullest level where, you know, they feel like he can pull them out of anything. Um, you know, but when we play the way that we play tonight, that does a disservice to him, right? Like when, when we don't give, you know, our maximum and we just feel like we can flip a switch and turn it on, um, you know, like that dis- does a disservice to each other. And, you know, we haven't had that before. You know, tonight was the first night uh, that it happened to us and the Kings made us pay. But, you know, it's the same conversation that we're having is about maturation and improvement, right? Like this team has potential, but how do you get there? You get there through consistency. You get there through consistency in your physical approach and your mental approach. And those are lessons that we have to learn. And tonight, you know, again, mentally, we were not engaged the way that we needed to be uh, in order to compete.